Hi, this is Shudip Tobalav, and uh, you are watching me on the Hindwoods. If you want to watch me and more of your favorite actors, then please share, like, and subscribe to Behind Woods. Two Harihar Nagar was a very interesting incident because those days, I that is actually my first film as a villain. The clip which I had sent as a uh, self audition or a demo was of the uh, of me throwing the kid. They called me up and said, uh, Shudipto, welcome on board. Hello everyone. In the number of the other special guest, Anna. And I repeat all the other people who are in the movie. What is the last thing I don't know? 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 Thank you so much. It's my pleasure uh, being here uh, with you in the days of social distancing, uh, addressing and doing this chat with you. It's my pleasure. Yeah, great, great. So, uh, so uh, tell me, tell me here, how, did how did you land, you land up, up in, in Two Hanyar Nagar? Hanyar Nagar? So, because so because that, that was the first time, time, first time, first time, time we were seeing a villain of such an intense intensity and in villainism. The once again, I like I had earlier said in a lot of interviews, and once again, I'll repeat myself. Two yeah, yeah. uh, Harihar Nagar was a very interesting incident because those days, I that is actually my first film as a villain. Oh, okay. I had never done a villain before that. You so you were doing comedies. I was doing out and out comedy, and yeah. uh, I don't know whether I'm allowed to take the name of a private channel here. No, Can no, I? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So I used to host a fun show for uh, MTV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was a part of the Bakra shows those days. It was mm -hmm. a prank show and all. So, you know. My, uh, like every actor has that uh, body of work and that scape which says, okay, mm -hmm. the, he would be doing this kind of roles. You know? I was, and even the Hindi films which I was doing, or the Bengali film uh, I was doing mm -hmm. at that given point of time, was always comedy, comedy, comedy. And uh, like uh, I always say is that, uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, in India, uh, those days, now things are changing. Those yeah. days, uh, an actor was cast off uh, on the basis of their physicality. Mm -hmm. And I was never a six pack guy, I was always a family pack guy. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, from there, uh, so I was doing those days, I was doing a Hindi film with uh, um, Malayalam actress uh, Lakshmi Gopalaswami. Okay. And me and Lakshmi, we were doing a Hindi film. That's when uh, Lakshmi had introduced me to her manager, mm -hmm. who in turn got me introduced to Lal Sir. And I remember I had come, they had asked me to come down for a day mm -hmm. and uh, do an audition for them. Okay. So I remember I came to Kochi and on that Vaitala Road, there's this hotel mm -hmm. called White Fort. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I stayed in Whiteford, and Lal sir was there, and cinematographer Venu sir was there, mm -hmm. Jazeer Mohammed was there, Lal sir's son, yeah, who's yeah. a independent director now. now Jean now, yes. was a, Jean was a college student then. Uh -huh. Okay, we did the audition, and uh, evening I went to his house, had dinner, and next morning when the car came to pick me up, uh, they came out with a Signing mountain check and I was little like, and that's when I called him up. I okay. called up uh, Lal sir and said, sir, are you sure mm -hmm. that you want me as a villain in the film? No. Okay. And that to the main villain of the film. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the history of 
I uh, in Hari Har Nagar I have heard of I haven't seen the film. Mm-hmm. Uh, are, you, are you sure of that? So he smiled. He said that uh, you know the production team will let you know the dates. Just okay. block this month mm-hmm. for me. Yeah. Okay. And then I came, shot, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Yeah. and then a few other few more villains, villains, villains in Malayalam cinema. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it means uh, uh, you. You want to know if I have seen the work of some other uh, villains no, in no. Malayalam? What I, what I, what no, I what I mean, I mean is like. So that's because I did, did a movie called Lavender. Lavender. I did a movie called Lavender. I was doing a film called Goodbye December, and then uh, of late I've done two films from Kerala. Mm-hmm. Uh, one was Tian. Oh, okay. So yeah. Tian had uh, it was a debutant director. And uh, it had uh, Prithviraj, uh, Indran, Indran as an Indrajit, uh, then uh, Suraj. Uh, mm-hmm. It had a very impressive cast and uh, very uh, last year actually it was in the festivals. Uh, I did a film uh, with a director from Kerala. It's a, the film is in English, but it's a okay. tribute to Padmarajan sir. Uh, which is uh, this film is called Humans of Someone, okay. and uh, it was the opening film for the Kerala International Film Festival. Yes, Been directed by an extremely talented guy called Sumesh Lal. Mm-hmm. Vipin Chandran was the cinematographer of the film, and that's a yeah. very interesting film. That's a very 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 interesting film. Means. Uh, mm-hmm. I, uh, it's uh, people who are fans of Padmarajan sir, they Mm -hmm. would love the film because the director had taken five small portions from five different films and he had woven it into one single story. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So So that's, that's about, you know, what we want to know about, you know, let's move on to the talk of the, 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 I mean, of the internet right now. (laughs) Movie (laughs) extractions. How did you land up there? I will tell you, uh, before extraction, uh, a pretty uh, well-known casting director, once again, Amal Ali, from uh, Bombay, uh, Mm -hmm. Tess Joseph. She okay. called me up and she asked me that, Shudupto, uh, are you working? Are you yeah. in the mood to work? I said, first okay. I said, no. <laughs> okay. I said, okay, listen, uh, I'm sending you a script. Go mm-hmm. through that okay. and uh, send me a clipping of that mm-hmm. and any of your recent work uh, that you've uh, done. Of it. So I uh, read it and you would not believe that the clip which I had sent mm-hmm. as a uh, self audition or a demo was of the uh, of me throwing the kid. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that yeah. is that is that is one scene that everyone notices. Okay. Who can throw a kid off 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 the roof? <laughs> that is the kind of villain. And I was, and I distinctly remember it. Uh, it was uh, afternoon, and we were having this uh, festival, you know, Durga Puja festival, and we were going. So me and Chaitali, we were going some uh, to the pujas. We uh, so she said that okay, before we leave for that, we'll shoot this portion, and uh, it was in our terrace. Hmm? Okay. And she shot it on her iPhone, and she sent me the clip, and that's how. Uh, okay. The casting team had shown it to the director, and Sam said, "Okay, you." And I think over here also, in two days' time, they called mm-hmm. me up and said, uh, "Shudipto, welcome on board." Okay. And really? after uh, I came uh, on board, I came to know about the director, the producer, mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. well as. Uh, the hero of the film. Okay, okay. So, what is the work experience? You know, it was it was all different. The cast was all from Hollywood, uh, uh, and you know, it's it's your first experience working with such a such a big production and such a big crew. And also, an international star is coming in as the hero. How how was the whole experience for you? Experience uh, wise, I would say that uh, it's like you know, it takes time for you to absorb that fact. 
It's like all of a sudden somebody sends you to space and you are completely zoned out and you're thinking, oh, this. And then after so many years of being a part of the trade, doing so many films and oh, I have yeah. probably barring two, three languages, I've actually mm-hmm. have done films in all languages. Tamil, mm-hmm. Telugu, okay. Malayalam, Kannada, yeah, Bhojpuri, yeah. Marathi, Bengali, mm-hmm. English. I've done English films before. Mm-hmm. Uh, English and, and then when you realize, okay, this is how you do. Yeah. Okay, so much of paperwork and then you realize it's a little disorienting in the initial days but Mm-hmm. It takes time for you to absorb. So I the uh, like some of the people I had worked before. Like like I said, mm-hmm. Tess, uh, the casting team, I had worked with them before. Randeep Huda, I had worked with him mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. in a Hindi film. I had worked with him before. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it was uh, then rest of the crew uh, members and all. Right from the day, the first my first experience of working with them was when I had gone to Ahmedabad where they had put up the base Mm -hmm. uh, to shoot, uh, not to shoot actually, try my look out. They had done. Mm -hmm. Litwin, I have done you know, so many films. I had never (laughs) seen (laughs) that kind of homework Mm -hmm. that goes into Preparing a look. I still mm-hmm. remember. Uh, I landed. And you see how well they take care of their actors. Mm-hmm. I landed in the morning because uh, I was. Um, it was a long flight actually. And uh, I landed in the morning. The car picked me up, took me to the hotel. And I was given six hours to rest. So that the actor doesn't get stressed or feel fatigue during a look test mm-hmm. that itself was a shocker for me because we had so many used to <laughs> run into the heads, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you land in the airport and, the, and you <laughs> can hear the production manager <laughs> yeah, and the driver how, in how much time will he come to the set <laughs> so we are used to a different kind of a thing here uh, you have gone for a look test and they say let him rest for six hours. When mm-hmm. when the AD comes to pick me up at the hotel, greets me well and said, Sir, can I get you some coffee or drink uh, so that you feel fresh during uh, uh, the journey from the hotel to uh, the base, mm-hmm. which was two kilometers. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, so they are trying to make me feel comfortable in that two mm-hmm. kilometers also, which Indian actors are not so used to. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, after that, then when I went there, it was a team. Mm -hmm. It was a team of one, two, three, eight people trying Mm -hmm. to set the look. So the makeup guys who had come, so they are the same makeup guys who had set the look for Pirates of Caribbean. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the team. That's the makeup team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Joe Wellen was there. Tom Harrison was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, Tibiero uh, was there. Then, of course, uh, how can one miss it? The costume was done by none other than Buana. Buana mm-hmm. is from Serbia, and she is she's set the looks for people like Julia Roberts and things like that. So mm-hmm. it's a different tangent. We're working together mm-hmm. with them, mm-hmm. and then the look was set. We had a guy from Thailand who was doing uh, the accessories. There's a separate department and a separate mm-hmm. team that handles only accessories. Mm-hmm. So that that guy was there and it took me about four to five hours just to do the fittings. Okay. Just to do the fittings. And mm-hmm. they made me wear, I had... See, of the four, five scenes which I had, I think I had three changes. Okay. They made me wear, uh, go, uh, wear all the three changes so that there's no mm-hmm. glitch on the mm-hmm. day. They mm-hmm. made me wear the shoes, the socks, the belt, which is not even seen, should have mm-hmm. been right. So okay. that kind of homework and mental preparation is what they bring on board. 
Mm-hmm. So uh, that was completely, completely a very interesting incident. And then uh, uh, the first uh, schedule we had was in Ahmedabad. So uh, the first schedule we shot in Ahmedabad. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm, that itself was another uh, very interesting thing that you take up a complete Indian city and transform it into a different country. Mm-hmm. That kind of production design itself, like, you know, every holding that you see around in that uh, uh, location we were shooting, yes, yes. it was written in Bangla. Mm-hmm. The rickshaws, mm-hmm. look, uh, the way we eat in Bangladesh, the number of plates of the cars, everything, everything. Yeah, yeah. Even uh, the police vehicles. Even the police vehicles. Police vehicles. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Everything. everything they try, they converted uh, mm-hmm. Ahmedabad, uh, parts of Ahmedabad into mm-hmm. Bangladesh. So we were completely mesmerized, me, Priyanshu, Randeep. We were all very mesmerized to see this was uh, the production team. Oh, wonderful. They, they put the level up to the, they, they took it to the next level when we saw that they turned Bangkok into Bangladesh. <laughs> We okay. thought Ahmedabad, Bangladesh, okay, fantastic. Okay. When we went to shoot in Bangkok, Bangla. Mm-hmm. you see that bridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. that bridge where the climax is shot, that, that is yeah. shot in Thailand. Oh. oh, That is shot in a place which is 200 kilometers to 200 to 250 kilometers of Thailand in mm-hmm. Nakhon Pathom. Mm-hmm. They shot mm-hmm. it in Nakhon Pathom and uh, you know the way they have transformed that mm-hmm. whole thing itself is amazing it it is mm. unbelievable unbelievable and then during the shooting working with uh, i remember that we had a very interesting moment during the shooting in bangkok because uh, this film has been shot by none other than thomas uh, newton sigal tom uh-huh. sigal is the and during the shooting of this he got the uh, golden globe for bohemian rhapsody oh, oh okay okay so itself is a high. You are I shooting know. with a cinematographer who's got the Golden Globe mm-hmm. and on the set of your film. And uh, so yes, everything, everything about this special. film has been everything was special. It was a new experience. I would say yeah. it was a new experience for us Indian actors. Mm-hmm. So it, okay. it's been the journey's been interesting. Okay. So this is how the first week, uh, the first verdict to us. There are action movies and then there is extraction. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. Baby suit. Yeah. Because we were, we were at the edge of our seats with all that final action sequences. We really wanted to know what was coming on, how was the next action sequence planned up. And I think we were in for a real treat. Yeah, means the act like a uh, few uh, days back, I think last week when the film released. Uh, so, uh, a film, a, a very, very popular uh, film uh, a journalist in um, Los Angeles had written that this film redefines action in world cinema. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazing. Another uh, thing which was uh, if you go through the tweet uh, handle of Ram Gopal Verma, he has given a different kind of a tweet. So uh, I can't repeat the tweet because of the choice of words he's used. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But if you see it for yourself, so it's like action was phenomenal. Phenomenal. So, what was the experience with Chris? Did you did you get a chance to meet him and talk to him? Yes, we did. We did, and uh, amazingly humble. Mm-hmm. Amazingly humble that uh, you would expect uh, because uh, from a star or an actor of that magnitude with that kind of body of work, and also coincidentally the producer of this film. Chris mm-hmm. is the producer of this film also okay. with the Russo brothers. Okay. Uh, an amazingly humble, an amazingly humble guy to talk mm-hmm. to his knowledge about cinema and his passion for the craft mm-hmm. is what you learn. Means, you know, the, these are the guys who live, eat, breathe 
cinema mm-hmm. that that entire passion and when even he talks to you he brings it as a rub on effect on you uh-huh. so it's like a very magnetic kind of a thing that when you discuss cinema with these kind of passionate people mm-hmm. you yourself is like very charged up you, oh, that's okay. the kind of impact wonderful okay so when are we going to see down here south again you know in some some villainess or maybe maybe let's cut off the category of villains let's try something else when are you planning to come down to south you should ask this to uh, malayalam filmmakers you're asking you this question you're asking the wrong person i am open to work and i i, I am means i can categorically say there are so many people i want to work with i oh. want to work with anwar rashid i want to work mm-hmm. with ashik abu i want to work with jean i want to work with anybody and everybody mm. but the thing is that i malayalam filmmakers the day they give me a call i'm there to do a film with them wonderful we hope, we hope to see you soon right. down here Absolutely, I'm looking forward to. Thank you. So thank you so much for spending us time and you know giving us. It was wonderful talking to you. But it was wonderful talking to you too, and wish you all the best.